If at all you want to grow in your life, always choose to grow with the discipline. And this is what we call disciplined growth. What is disciplined growth and why should you incorporate it? Disciplined growth involves the slow, steady and effective method of increasing one's efficiency. It can be in the life of a person or in the businesses. One should always aim at slow and steady growth rather than aiming for the dramatic growth. Let me give some examples from the nature itself. Because when you pressurize something to reap more than what it possibly can by following the order of nature, the eventual result is always a backfire, the failure. How to escape that? And especially in this generation, looking at the hype that is being given to the success by the other people, you too will get influenced by it, aiming to reach the success at the most quickest way possible, which is ultimately going to make you a dumb failure. Let me not simply give some preaching over here. Let me talk about this from the experience. Rather, let me prove it with the result of the experiment conducted by the biologists from the Glasgow University. What did they do? What experiment did they conduct? What did they find in their experiment and what should we learn from that experiment. These biologists have taken two fish, two small fish which are yet to grow. They have transported one fish to the cold water which is not really a good place for the growth and that is the reason it has experienced the slow and quiet growth in its functionalities and its overall body development. Whereas they have transported another fish to the hot water, to the lukewarm manageable hot water which has shown the dramatic growth in the fish. However, when they have bought the fish to to their regular lifestyle to the regular water the fish that has raised in the cold water has lived 30 percent higher than its regular life period whereas the fish that had grown in the hot water in the abnormal conditions which generally does not happen although it has raised to the fullest development has left its life 15 percent earlier than the usual life period of that fish this is one example that you need to understand from where you should focus mostly on growing slowly and steadily rather than trying to identify the hike and try to prove something to someone which eventually is going to make you weak and one more beautiful example that has been taken by the author is how the plants grow under the trees it was also proven again that the seed saplings or seeds which drop from the mother tree and they take that growth under the shade of the tree for even decades growing very slowly very slowly why why is the process of growth is very slow under the mother tree because the seed saplings or these tiny plants are receiving the limited portion of the sunlight as they are under the shade of the mother tree and it definitely slows down the process of growth and will take a lot of time for, for the sapling to grow into adult tree yet once it grows to that level it grows very thick and dense with very hard wood whereas if you consider the same sapling which is growing away from the mother tree that means in the direct sunlight where it gets adequate air it grows definitely very fast very quick the problem is that particular tree is not as strong as the tree that is growing under the shade of its mother. The fast growth resulted in airy and soft wood which did not have adequate time to densify itself. So that type of tree rottens very quickly and dies off. This is a marvelous example which should definitely calm you down. A tree that grows quickly also rots quickly. So rather than focusing on a rapid growth within a limited period of time, focus more on the slow growth yet sound stout and strong growth. Let me close down this video with one of the most famous companies downfall and later it raised again world renowned coffee brand Starbucks. Starbucks in the year 1994 Starbucks was owning 425 stores where they serve phenomenal coffee. People liked it and, and it has happened 23 years after the introduction of Starbucks. However by 1994 Starbucks was holding 625 stores internationally that's good a decent growth however later on the growth targets came in to the company and the workers management has pushed themselves in terms of extending the company very rapidly so by 2007 the company was holding 2500 stores every single year and it has even raised to such an extent opening a single store for every four hours definitely a substantial rapid growth but what was the result customer dis satisfaction.
customers no longer found the speciality, the uniqueness that is being served by the Starbucks. Due to which the shares of the Starbucks in 2008 fallen down 73%. It was a dreadful disaster for a famous company like Starbucks back in 2008. And the chief executive officer of the company has himself stated very strongly that growth should never be a strategy. Growth is always a tactic. So when undisciplined growth becomes your strategy, you definitely lose the grip on your fundamental path. So, and what does all these three examples state us? They say very stoutly to welcome the slow, steady and precise growth rather than looking at the gambling growths like a dramatic one, which would never benefit you in becoming thick, dense and strong. See you in the next video.